Hi, this is Peter. Hi, this is Sandra. And we are Medievalist.net. And we are coming from Toronto, Canada live today in my kitchen, my glorious one bedroom apartment <laughs> kitchen in Toronto, um, to make medieval soup. Uh, courtesy of the wonderful people at Battle Castle, uh, who who managed to provide all these fantastic mm. recipes from Malbork. Yes, they were uh, they were filming at, at the Castle Malbork for their upcoming series Battle Castle, and they uh, stumbled onto this beautiful restaurant inside the castle. The chef was uh, gave them kind a of bit of a, to a tour and gave them a few recipes which they've shared, and uh, Nicole has uh, tried out, and we've mm -hmm. been inspired. Nicole Tomlinson and yeah. uh, who we're indebted to for this. Who, yes, hey, Battle Castle folks, catch it live. Yeah, that's coming soon. <laughs> Very soon, which we'll be covering for you all. Uh, in the meantime, we wanted to try our hand at some of this Polish soup. So this is the uh, Zupa Grzybowa, which is the mushroom soup. Here's the, the, the recipe, and we actually went today and we bought the ingredients, and this is going to be our fun foray into making medieval soup, so um, join us for the fun and the ride, and we'll tell you if it tastes really good at the end. Hi. So we're back again, and basically what I've done is I've taken the cremony and the chanterelle mushrooms along with a liter and a half of vegetable stock and eight sprigs of thyme, or thyme if you're Peter, and put it together in this pot and now for about 10 minutes it's going to cook and then we're going to take the mushrooms out with a slotted spoon and then we're going to chop them up and put it off to the side while we do part two. So now um, I'm cutting onion while the mushrooms are cooking in the broth with the thyme. Forgive me, I'm not a professional, you know, chop, chop, chop type of chef. I kind of <clears throat> chop as I go. So I'm going to chop these onions and they're going to go into the frying pan with four tablespoons of butter. I'm trying not to cut my fingers off here. <clears throat> So I'm going to turn this on here and just wait for the butter to melt and then I'm going to take this and saute it and then while that's sauteing what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my slotted spoon and take these out and chop them up and put the broth off to the side. I'm not a very good at cooking and Sandra knows <laughs> this so I'm not getting too many things to do but one of the things I that she's allowing me to do is to take these mushrooms and once they're finished, they've been finished, they've been 10 minutes, I just put them into the bowl. And we put uh, take all of these and then what we're gonna do is chop them up. Hi, so we're back. So now I'm mixing all the mushrooms, the orcini and uh, chenchal and cremony mushrooms together. And they're going in with the onions and we're going to cook all of this together oops just gonna switch this over meanwhile we're waiting for the um, salted water to boil so that we can put um, the chopped up gnocchi in there and then once the gnocchi rise up to the top we're going to take them out and set them into ice water so they firm up and uh, then we're going to proceed with adding everything together adding some port wine which we have over here I love any recipe that puts booze in the soup I gotta say that's A1 and being Polish it's awesome. So now what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna take some garlic which is two cloves I'm using this nifty little device to crush it, like crush the garlic up. Just pop that in to the pan. Now 
now we're also going to pour in some port. It's the port wine, which is about a cup or 250 milliliters. The juice from the porcini that they were soaking in. And we're going to let that cook. I have to say that this smells really, really good. So now we have to add the gnocchi to the boiling water. And be careful not to get boiled by the boiling water. Today. So far this has been taking us about, uh, why do I say 25-30 minutes uh, of work. Uh, and uh, we are probably nearing the end stages, so man, we're getting very hungry because we've been doing this, working on all your stuff all day today, so. And putting up a dog-proof mailbox. These are now ready, and we're going to put it into the strainer. Careful not to burn yourself when you're doing this. And now you're going to, what are you going to do, Peter? We add this, now to firm it up, we put it into, this is kind of cold, ice cold water. Careful. And it's really more appetizing than it sounds, medieval verse. Okay. You think a medieval peasant did all this work? So now I'm adding the thyme that was in the stock into the pan. And we're going to simmer this for another five minutes. Hi, so we're at the final stage of this zubak zhubaba, uh, the mushroom soup from Malbork. So basically, if you come here and you look, we have the stock, the port, all the mushrooms, the thyme, the garlic, the onion, Everything simmered nicely. We have the gnocchi ready to go. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take the soup ladle and spoon it over. Well, obviously, and um, spoon it into the bowl. This smells delicious, folks. I can't um, stress that enough. Peter, is that good? Looks good to me. Yeah. I'm just going to have a little glass of that. So now, I'm going to turn this off. And what we're going to do is I'm going to just chop this up a little bit. I noticed that <clears throat> in the picture, they use like flat parsley, flat leaf parsley. I grabbed the uh, curly kind. Oh well, it's okay. I'm sure it'll still taste great. I'll just grab a bit of parsley, throw that on top, and then it says to add the truffle oil. So we just add a little bit of, a little bit of truffle oil. Voila. So this is our, if you want to get a picture of this, Peter, this is our Malbork medieval mushroom soup, or as it's known in Poland, Zupak Zhabova. Sort of kind of like our little picture here. And now I'm going to get take this from you, and I'm going to film Peter tasting. Oh. Live, live tasting, folks. Be my guinea pig, my medieval guinea pig. I feel like tasting the soup, the the bigger ones, yours, because you're a boy. Okay. I, okay. I, I feel like the lord of a of a small manor. It is a small manor, yes. So, what do you think? That's excellent. <laughs> That's really, really good. It's very good. Oh my gosh. Let's see. Let's check this out, folks. Zubak Zhabova, uh, everyone. It is a very tasty, delicious. It's delicious.
let's sit down and eat. So now we're enjoying the fruits of our labor. Um, this lovely medieval soup. Um, we want to thank Nicole Tomlinson and the entire Battle Castle crew for this adventure. Um, we were inspired by her making the soup with her family at home, and then we decided why not make it for the medieval verse. Yes, they, uh, and uh, this, um, besides having to track down some of the ingredients, I'm sure it was much tougher than the Middle Ages. But it was tough for us, but. Uh, with all our modern equipment yeah. and everything, you know, I cook and stuff, but it wasn't the easiest uh, soup to make. And, um, find, like, for some reason, whatever reason, I we had to go to three grocery stores to find time. It was the most frustrating thing because usually you can find it very, very easily, but for whatever reason, it wasn't available. But we found it. We found everything. We got... Um, mm -hmm. Uh, it took about, about, say, half an hour to, like, 40 minutes to complete everything, get everything done. We did some of the prep beforehand, you know, um, with soaking the mushrooms. You have to soak them, the porcini mushrooms for one hour. So we soaked those, and then I posted a couple articles. Peter and I put up the, the dog mail bin. <laughs> and then we came back to the mushrooms. We chopped the onions. Um, we managed to, you know, have the stock and the time and everything ready. We, we, set, we did prep beforehand so that it was just like, you know, on TV where it's like bowl of this, yeah. bowl of this, dump, 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 and, th and that was it. I, I think I watch way too, too much cooking TV. Yeah. But anyways, and it was very good. And the soup is absolutely amazing. Yeah. Like, like it's so flavorful. It's oh, really yeah. Good. Like this is, um, this has got a lot of flavor, a lot of taste. Um, you, you have to like mushroom, I guess. So if you're not, not a fan of mushrooms, these are three types of mushroom in here. Mm -hmm. But, oh, it's just uh, it's wonderful. Delicious. It's delicious. This thing. Is one of the best soups I've ever eaten in my life. Um, and I think next week, are you up to it? Let's make the cherry soup. The che okay. I'm good so with the cherry soup. So many verse. Um, next Sunday, follow our next misadventures as we make um, Zuba Vishnyava. The cherry soup, um, which will be interesting because cherries aren't in season, so we're gonna have a hell of a time finding yeah. the ingredients. But um, we're gonna make all three of the soups each week and post uh, them and, for you. Uh, yeah, we'll have uh, we're having fun, and if you have another recipe you want us to share and try, maybe if you have we a medieval will... recipe. We'll we'll try it. Yes. Anyways, thanks for watching. And thanks for humoring us. Um, I apologize if some of this was a little choppy, but it's the first time we've ever done like a medieval verse cooking show, so thanks yeah, for... Yeah, th this isn't like all of our other videos, which are highly professional. <laughs> yes. yes, these are not like those superior videos. So thank you for joining us, and after we eat our lovely soup, we'll go back to posting. I feel like a surf. <laughs> I feel like a surf. <laughs>